What's up, everybody? Welcome to Lyrics To Go. I'm Daniel Mate. What you're about to watch is a short clip from a recent live stream I did. I do these every Monday night, pretty much. Uh, we pick one artist or group or even a single album and just listen in depth, pause, talk about the lyrics, and just get to deepen our appreciation of the lyrical side of things, which is the whole point of this channel. Now, those streams are available to everybody every Monday night. I invite you to come out, check out what we're doing each week. It's always different. Uh, if you want to see the entire stream after the fact, that's available to my Patreon subscribers only. And you can become one by going to patreon.com slash lyrics to go. There's a whole bunch of other perks as well, including bonus episodes and custom playlists and all kinds of other good stuff. So hope you'll check that out. And for now, please enjoy this clip. Oh, why don't we do it with, uh, with Spanish subtitles? Um, and uh, this song is very funny because, you know, like, talk about urban paranoia. This, you know, you hear, you hear the term uh, flyover country, which is how people on the coasts refer to middle America. Yeah, don't worry about the government. So that's Savannah. Excellent. I'm going to look at that song in a moment because that's an example of the false optimism side of David Byrne whole bunch of songs where he's actually the lyric is super excited but kind of fanatically so like religiously so and you can hear the fear underneath it like he's protesting too much or he's just maybe he's just totally sold on it and that's an example don't worry about the government is a great example of that style of lyric but so stay tuned stick around for that one all right uh the big country I'll just play it because the lyrics are on the screen. And uh, and yeah, just notice again, just like in Nothing But Flowers, what's going on in the lyrics and the music of the, um, the verses and then what flips in the chorus. There's a twist. Yeah, Kathy, I can see that. Peter Gabriel, yeah. Both started out weird, both ended up very warm-hearted. Kind of pedal steel sounding guitar for the Midwest or the... I see the shape. Virgil, Texas. Is that where Virgil, Texas gets his name from? I've never seen True Story. That's really funny. I see be, the shoreline. Speaking of ironic. I see the white caps. Baseball time. Nice weather down there. All these nice things. I see the school. I see the school. And the houses where the kids are. And the houses are. where the kids are. Places to park. Places to park. By the factories and buildings. And the album's called More Songs About Mr. Buildings Rooks and Food. And bars. For later in the evening. We come to the farmers. And the undeveloped areas. Doesn't this just sound like something out of a children's textbook? Or like a children's like picture book? like busy day, busy people or something, like all the people come to the farmlands and we go to the undeveloped areas and we build and then there are schools and all this. Um, something very childlike about it. And then, you, you know, you wait for the twist. And I have learned, I have learned how, to, these how these things work together. Work together. No Adria las cosas que la forma de en la que esa gente I 
No Vivia. I wouldn't live there if you paid me to. I guess it's healthy. I guess the air is clean. I guess the air is clean. I guess those people have fun with their neighbors and friends. Look at that kitchen. Look at that kitchen. What I find also very funny about this is you imagine the song, at the start of the song, he's, he's looking down from an airplane. You know, he's probably flying from New York to L.A. or something. And he's looking down. And he sees the farmlands and the parkways, right? And now he's talking about, look at that kitchen and all of that food. So how is he seeing that? It's, the, the multitude of perspectives is, is humorous to me. Look at that meat <laughs> I'm just gonna go back. I gotta play that again. And also check out that there's a really funny thing here, rhyming good food and good. Because again, they're spelled the same, but they they sound different. And when David Burns sings, he'll often, you know, I guess it tastes real good. I can imagine him doing that live so that it rhymes with food anyway. Kitchen. Yeah, JVB, we're going to listen to that in a, that in a few songs for sure. I love that song too. Grow it in those farmlands. Bring it to the store. Put it in the car trunk. <laughs> put it in the car trunk. It really is. I wouldn't live like that no siree. I would do the things the way those people do. I wouldn't live there if you paid me to. I'm tired of looking. Airplane, right? Whoops, what happened? I'm tired of traveling. I want to be somewhere. I want to be somewhere. It's not even worth talking about those people down there. Goo goo ga ga ga. Just works himself into an infant like tantrum. Sublime. So funny, kind of scary. Like there's this fanaticism to it. And I love how he just works himself up into a lather and he's, you know, he's longing to be somewhere. I'm tired of traveling. And he's like, it's not even worth talking about those people, <laughs> like the animals, right? And then it's not worth talking, so what does he do? Goo goo ga 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 for the rest of the song. Uh, entitled Baby Talk. Very good, Kathy. That's, that's a great way of, of thinking about it. Um, 